Hi, hello everyone. This is Mr. M from Algebra Lesson. Today I'm here with a different kind of video. Um, usually we are discussing the algebra problems or its uh, theoretical explanation. Today we are actually dealing with little calculus uh, and the combination of geometry. We need to prove or we are going to prove the circumference of a circle is 2 pi r, 2 times pi times the radius. That is uh, using calculus only we are going to prove it. Okay, so we all know that the the equation the equation of a circle is x square plus y square equal to r square. Um, as I told you before, uh, I'm going to prove this using this two pi r result using calculus. Uh, we need a function function in y. So um, so y y square i'm keeping y term on on the left side and the remaining on the other side so r square minus x square so y will be equal to um, square root of r square minus x square we are not considering the plus or minus sign because um, um uh, as the first step i'm going to uh, find the length of uh, this much piece of the circle or uh, this much arc okay or the arc length okay then i am going to multiply that by because we have four different quadrants or four different arcs makes this circle um complete so then i will multiply that by four to get the whole um length okay so so now we have the function of y now what is the um length of this arc so we have an equation to find the length of an arc in integration that is length is equal to integral a to b square root of 1 plus dy by dx the whole square of dx that is actually the equation this is actually what we are actually going to use to prove um, the circumference is 2 pi r okay stay with me so uh, the equation is uh, l is equal to integral a to b so here um, this integral um, limit is actually start from a to b that a and b for this particular case is x is starting from 0 and ending in let it be r so uh, in this case we are actually going to consider uh, the uh, limit integral 0 to r r is the radius that's the reason why we are actually choosing integral um 0 to r okay let me start with a different color so before we uh, go there we need to complete a little bit of uh, calculation so that is we have y is equal to y is equal to um square root of r square minus x square that's the result we have so we are going to first find the first derivative y dash or y prime that is that is equal to what is the square um uh, derivative of root x we all know that it is 1 by 2 root x so here it is 1 by 2 root x here is r square minus x square so here we are using the rule uh, d by dx of d by dx of square root of x answer is 1 by 2 root x okay and so here it is 1 by 2 root r square minus x square because this is a function of a function uh, we need to write the derivative of negative x square that is uh, negative 2 x okay so we can cancel 2 and 2 so we have y prime is equal to uh, negative x by uh, root of um, r square minus x square so our our um, equation is integral a to b square root of 1 plus dy by dx the whole square so now we can find um, y prime you all know that y prime is dy by dx so uh, y prime square is equal to uh, 
negative x by square root of r square minus x square the whole square so the square of negative x is x square itself divided by this uh, root is actually going to get vanished so it will be r square minus x square so we have um, um dy by dx the whole square now we need uh, as the next step one plus uh, y prime uh, square that is one plus x square by r square minus x square okay just make uh, r square minus x square as the common coefficient that will be r square minus x square that is otherwise you, i can say cross multiply with this r square minus x square times one that is r square minus x square plus you have an x square here divided by r square minus x square so positive x square and negative x square got cancelled out and what's left over is just r square so you have a one plus y prime um y prime square square root of uh, 1 plus y prime square is um, square root of r square divided by r square minus x square let me do some uh, algebra here um, r square is actually going out as r because square root of r square is r divided by r square minus x square i'm actually um doing a little bit of algebra that is i'm taking r square from both of these so r square will go out as r times root of 1 minus x square by r square so i can write x by r the whole square so this is actually the final result i got so r and r got cancelled out so my result is 1 by um, root of 1 minus x by r the whole square mm, wonderful we are actually halfway done um so we have now um uh, the equation we know the equation equation length is length is integral in this particular case it is 0 to r or square root of square root of 1 plus square root of 1 plus dy by dx the whole square that is here uh, it is 1 plus uh, y dash square of dx we have the answer integral 0 to r square root of 1 plus y dash square we have 1 by square root of 1 plus x by r this is the result we have of dx now we need to uh, integrate this to get the result so at this point we need to um, we need to use our uh, um, previous knowledge in trigonometry let me use a um, little bit of trigonometry here um, just to do the um, application or substitution so i'm actually going to you uh, uh, apply that let um sine theta sine theta is equal to x by r mm, wonderful that's a good substitution um sine theta is equal to x by r so from this what is x x can be right as x is equal to r sine theta oh so we have the substitution sine theta is equal to x by r so x is equal to r sine theta so what is dx from this dx will be um, r cos theta r cos theta day theta you know this substitution this is a wonderful piece of um, substitution uh, we need for this um, problem so come back to this this will be um, mm, um so i believe i made a sign mistake here sign error here this is uh one minus so this is uh, 
I need to erase this. Uh, this is one minus. Yeah. I need to fix it. Yeah. Oh, I, I corrected it. Okay. So uh, now we can go back to um, the piece. So integral 0 to r 1 by 1 by mm, root of root of 1 minus what is x by r x by r is x by r is this is square okay um x by r is a uh, sine theta so sine si, x by r square is sine theta square that is sine square theta okay x by r that is 1 minus sine square theta times times and dx what is dx dx is r r cos theta r cos theta okay so we have um sin, uh, 1 by root of 1 minus sine square theta times r cos theta okay this is equal to 1 by integral uh 1 by 1 minus sine square theta is cos square theta so square root of cos square theta is cos theta times r cos theta d theta so cos theta cos theta got cancelled out 0 to r this is equal to this is equal to uh, integral 0 to r r theta r d theta right r d theta integral 0 to r r d theta so what is uh, what is d theta integral of d theta integral of d theta it's theta right that is r times r times um, theta with the limit um, 0 to 0 to r that is actually the result uh, we have mm. interesting where we will move from this point come back to this um, substitution x equal to r sine theta right x equal to r sine theta or we can use this x by r x by r equal to sine theta so what is theta from this theta is equal to sine inverse of x by r wonderful we are going to use this result here that is equal to r times um sine inverse of x by r hmm interesting zero to r so um we can apply the limit that is r times r times sine inverse sine inverse x by r replace x with the limit upper limit is r so sine inverse r by r minus sine inverse sine inverse um 0 by r 0 by r hmm. we are there so that is r times sine inverse r by r r by r is 1 sine inverse 1 so uh, the value of uh, sine is 1 when sine is the angle is pi by 2 so sine inverse 1 is pi by 2 and sine inverse 0 by r sine value of sine is 0 when uh, angle is 0 so it is 0 that is r times pi by 2 or r pi by 2 this is actually uh, the um, the length of the quarter of the circle so the total the total length or the total length or the circumference circumference is four times this length that is r pi by 2 okay cancel this 4 and 2 answer is 2 times pi times r so this is the result and i believe all of you enjoyed this video thank you very much See you soon.